What's up, Danny gang? Welcome back to our channel. So good morning, y'all. Good morning. Happy freaking Saturday. So y'all, today is Saturday and I'm feeling bomb. This is the first Saturday that I have been in Atlanta, like when everything's open, like wide open. So I am venturing out, but don't fret. I got my mask. So I'm ready to go. Um, I got kind of a lot of stuff to do today. So this should be a good day, y'all. It's so beautiful outside. It's like 72 degrees. I'm about to stop right here really quickly and put on my lip gloss and my seatbelt. So yeah, this is my lip gloss. Y'all already know. I know somebody's screaming at the screen like, Royal Chaos. This is my Royal Chaos lip gloss. Uh, click the link in the description box below the shop. It's the black on business. So, really, really, really like it. <sighs> Y'all, it's Saturday and I did do my makeup. So, I did my face. I did my face like I always do. I untwisted my hair. It's really curly today. And then I'm just rocking this Juicy Couture shirt that says Juicy with some um, leggings. Y'all already know the Saturday vibe, period. Um... But yeah, before we get this vlog started, I want y'all to know that I'm now accepting new members of the Danny Gang. So if you want to be a member of the gang, 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 because you are keto, or because you love books, or because you just love your girl, Danny, then go ahead, click subscribe, hit the bell, and make sure you put your fists up, because y'all got to fight me. Y'all, 2020 is like super scary. I feel like every time I go outside, zombies is gonna attack me or whatever. So I need people in my gang that's gonna hold it down. So if I'm walking, I need a gang member to be able to take one of the zombies out, period. So hit the bell, hit subscribe, make sure you uh, like this video, put your fist up, fight me, and you're a lifetime member, period. But anyway, y'all, don't judge me. But your girl is finna go to the nail shop. Y'all know I had them press-ons on for about almost two weeks. Like, if y'all put them press-ons on, no, them press-ons is gonna stay on, honey. But when I was soaking them off, for some reason, I can't get the pinkies off. And for some reason, a couple of my nails, like, have a tear in them. So I don't know if I soaked them off wrong or what. But um, I really did like the press-ons. They really are convenient. I think um, I'm going to give the pair of press-ons that I had got that I was going to use for myself. I think I am going to give those away in the giveaway. Um, so, yeah. In the previous clip, y'all saw me making coffee. This is a coffee. I'm literally addicted. I literally have to buy more already. I've never ran through iced coffee that quick, y'all. It's so good. I think the creamer is what kicks it off. Because y'all know I was using heavy cream. I think I just need a break from heavy cream. This is so bomb. But yes, y'all. It is Saturday, 73 degrees. A beautiful in Atlanta. A beautiful Atlanta day. We are... Y'all don't judge me. Don't judge me. We are... 
I'm about to go find a nail shop. I've waited too long. I've waited too long. The last time I got my nails done was back in March by my girl Queen Sididi, who I did book an appointment for this upcoming week, period. But that was the last time I got my nails like done, done. So <clears throat> now I am going to the nail shop because I need a pedicure so bad, y'all. My feet look horrendous. My feet look like they've been in a grinder, my toes. I'm exaggerating, but I need to get my toes done. I'm going to wait on my eyebrows. My eyebrows is, well, y'all can't really see, but my eyebrows are slick decent. So I'm going to just let these things keep growing. So I'm going to wait on my eyebrows, but I want to get a manicure and an overlay. I'm not really ready to go straight back to acrylic. And then, like I said, I got an appointment, like not next week, the week after with Queen Sididi. So I'm just going to chill out and just like get an overlay on my nails. Hopefully it don't be chipping and stuff, but I do want to go get a manicure and a pedicure and that's where I'm going. Y'all, please don't judge me. Um, I haven't had my nails done since March. It is almost mid-May. So y'all need to pat your girl on the back. Y'all need to pat your girl on the back. Um, after we get my nails done, hopefully my nail shop is open. Y'all, it says that my nail shop not open on Saturday and Sunday, and I just know that couldn't be. How could you not open on Saturday and Sunday? Maybe they're trying to like really do social distancing, and if they are, I'm gonna have to find another nail shop because I'm getting my nails done today. So I'm about to swing by my nail shop and see if it's open. If it's not, we're gonna find another one. And then I got an, uh, a message stating that I had some stuff in my PO box. So we're gonna go over there. I need to go to Walmart, I need to go to Target, and then we're just gonna go wherever else. And I'm feeling really confident because I have a mask and I still have those handy gloves. So yeah, I just wanna come up with the vlog and let's get into the next clip. All right, y'all, so I'll pull up to my favorite nail shop hoping i was gonna see my girl connie and basically they only doing appointment onlys and in the door they got um the nail text their numbers and their instagrams so i just text my girl connie to see if i can get my nails did so we're gonna go to the p.o box and then hopefully she texts me back if not we just gonna try to find a nail shop because because y'all my nail shop i'm literally crying right now because i don't want to go anywhere else but i desperately want my nails done today <sighs> i feel so conflicted but i did text my girl connie hopefully she'll text me back and the, the reason why i didn't know is because like i said i haven't had my nails done like in a shop since sometime in not even in march because i went to queen sadiddy so February was the last time I got my nails done like at the shop Y'all I'm devastated I mean that's good though practicing social distancing and everything but I just text her and hopefully I can get in today or tomorrow um I so wish I was going to church tomorrow y'all who else misses church y'all got me trying to save y'all but yeah, y'all, uh, who else miss going to church? I desperately miss church. I think church is like the number one thing. Y'all know I love Turner Point Church. I, I will I do anything for Turner Point Church, y'all. That is my favorite freaking church. I love that church. And that's my church home. I feel like I'm home when I'm there. So not being able to go to church has really been like went heavy on my heart. But y'all, I was watching um I forgot who it was on YouTube. If I remember who it was, I'll put um, her link in the description box. But she was like talking about all her Amazon favorites and a women's Bible was in her favorites. And I was like, oh, I'm going to buy that. So I think I'm going to order it because um, I'm like, I'm good with praying. I'm good with, you know, um, being present when it comes to being in the church and all of that. However, when it comes to reading the Bible, I, I really struggle with that. So, if y'all have any, like, um, study Bibles or women's Bibles that y'all use, leave them down below. Because I really need help with that. But the one that she found from Amazon, I see it's like $30. But it looks like it's a really good. It's full color to keep our attention and everything. So, I think I'm going to order that. I'll leave it in the description box below in case y'all want to look at it, too. And when I get it, of course, I'll show you guys. But I really miss church. Another thing that I was going to tell y'all was... The gym is opening today. 
So y'all know before quarantine happened, I had went to Planet Fitness and got a membership. Y'all, the gym is opening today. And it's so crazy because I looked it up last night, um, which is, was the 15th. And it was like, oh, your gym is opening up May 16th, blah, 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 which is today. So that's exciting. Um, I may not hit the gym like right away, but I am definitely excited that the gym is back open. That's what's up. Because that's another thing that I've missed desperately is the gym. So, of course, they have precautions and they have you know all these things set up which is cool um i'm gonna wait a while to go back to the gym obviously because it just opened today but it's exciting to know that it is open um i'm gonna tell y'all something else we talked about church we talked about the gym so yeah that's just how i'm feeling right now i'm feeling great though and i'm just like when it's sunny outside that just makes me feel even better Addicted. All right, y'all. We finna go to the um, post office to check my PO box, and I'll be back to show y'all. There is too much to fit into your mailbox. Please give this notice to a clerk during regular business hours. We are holding some of your mail for the reason indicated below. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> All right, y'all. So, if y'all want to send me something, I'm super excited because that means I have a lot of stuff. But anyway, if you guys want to send me something, um, I always leave my P.O. box in the description box below. And this is the number. And I check it probably like every week. Well, I check it probably like every two weeks. Um, so yeah, I'll just hold on to this until Monday and I'll come back up here and get it. All right, gang, so we made it to Walmart since I couldn't get my nails done and I can't get my packages out my PO box. We're just gonna go to Walmart. I got a couple things on my list like um, some Drano, I need a fan, I need some more sparkling waters. Y'all know the vibes. So we're about to go on Walmart. Y'all see, I do got my mask on and I do got my handy gloves. Y'all make sure y'all go check out handy gloves. They sent me this big bag of gloves and it came with 24 individually wrapped gloves. And this is how many I got left, still a lot. So yeah, let's go on Walmart y'all because child's getting real ghetto out here. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Um, but yeah, I do got my mask on and we finna go. Let's get it. All right, guys. So real quick, I'm gonna show y'all what I got because I'm about to take all of it out the car. So let me just show y'all right quick. So when I get in the house, I can just put it away. Um, I came home real quick because I got some like refrigerator things, but we're gonna come back out and go to Target and Big Lots and stuff. But anyway, so I got six of my waters, black cherry, strawberry, peach, Fuji apple, wild cherry and cotton candy so i got six of these i usually buy them like three at a time but i went ahead and just got six um i picked up some seasonings because i need some more so i got some paprika i got some um onion powder i got some seasonal um, I also re-upped on the coffee, y'all. When I say this coffee is bae, it's bae. So I got some more of the stock cold brew coffee, the unsweet, black, and smooth. And then I also got another bottle of the creamer, um, the stock fueled creamer, the original. And then I just got a bag of frozen broccoli. I got this oscillating fan because, y'all, my room be hot as crap. And, oh, I got some garlic powder as well. Put it with these. And then last but not least, I grabbed some Drano to um, unclog the tub and the sink in my bathroom. So, yeah. 
a little mini Walmart haul. Nothing major, nothing major. All right, guys, I'm gonna go put the, this stuff up and then we're gonna go to Target and Big Lots. I'm in Big Lots and if y'all watch the Britain Snow Effect, she raves about these Alani new products. So yeah, shout out to Big Lots. Um, they're 260 each. I got three so far. I just text her to see which ones are the best because whatever she tells me, I'll get another one. But yeah, have y'all tried Alani new? I think it's like five carbs. Yeah, five carbs. It's cool. Five carbs is cool if it really works. It's an energy drink, um, pre-workout, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, shout out to the Britain Snow Effect. I'm finally going to try them. And then I also see this Keto Zone, Zone Perfect um, protein packets. It's like a powder packet that you put inside water. It could be a meal replacement. I'm thinking about getting these. Um, you just add unsweet milk and a butter of your choice with ice and shake it up. Have y'all tried these? I'm thinking about getting these too. They got vanilla frosting and white chocolate cream. And then they also have the keto slim fast bars that everybody always has. And I'm going to pass. Hey gang. Gang, 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 gang. All right, Danny gang. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching me and supporting me. But if you're watching this, that means that you need to stop really quickly, look down and make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you hit the bell and make sure you thumbs up this video. It helps me a lot and it's absolutely free. So go ahead and do that. I'll wait. Great. So now that you're subscribed, you hit the bell and you like this video, we can continue. On to the next clip. Whew, y'all. I just want to take a moment of silence and thank all of the essential workers that are wearing these masks and even the heavier masks and the face shields, wearing it like at the um, hospitals and stuff. Y'all, they wearing these masks 12 hours a day. I literally be having my mask on 20 minutes and I'll be about to die. It is so hard to breathe in those dang on masks. Like, this is crazy. I honestly don't understand and don't realize where the freak I am anymore. It doesn't even feel like the real world. Real world. But anyway, y'all. So, I'm going to show y'all what, what I got from Big Lots real quick. I don't know. This can is kind of messed up. But anyway, like I was saying in there, I'm not sure if y'all heard me. But the Britain Snow Effect, that's my girl. Y'all seen her on my channel before. She raves about these freaking Alani new products. Y'all, she takes the pre-workout and she uses the power, the powder. But I never um have tried these before so these are just energy drinks and i got each flavor they had so they had tropsicle which sounds the best so they had tropsicle they had arctic white and they also had cosmic stardust so all three of these sound bomb um, so I picked those up and those will just be, I'll just put them in the fridge and they can be whenever I don't want coffee or whatever. And then I picked up these eight hair clips. So you get two white, four black, and then two blue and white dots. I got these because when I'm doing my natural hair, I need to twist and section off so that I can either twist or wash. And I literally only have one of these at home and I think it's like lime green. So I got a pack of these. They were on sale for three bucks. So I got those. Y'all, it's so hot. It's like 90 degrees, literally about to die. But yeah, so now um, it's one o'clock. I think I'm gonna run in Target and then we're gonna run home. Um, I'm hungry, so after I get out of Target, I'm gonna go home and eat. I'm not eating out. I have a salad at home. Um, the rest of my Caesar salad that I always get. I showed it to y'all in the Walmart haul. So I'm gonna eat that salad, but I may stop and get like a piece of grilled chicken um, from Zaxby's because I did not thaw any chicken out and I'm starving. So City Gear got a line. Damn, some shoes came out. Y'all see all them folk? Oh, y'all real quick. We gotta go by Burlington. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna stop and probably get a piece of grilled chicken that I can slice up on top of my salad. Um, I've been trying not to eat out and stuff like that. So I'm still working on it. I ain't perfect. You ain't perfect. We ain't perfect, period. But y'all, I saw on Instagram that 
Burlington was having a huge, massive sale, everything 50% off, and I couldn't believe it. So I'm not a Burlington shopper. However, it's true. I'm over here in this kind of like shopping, um, shopping center, and y'all, I saw Burlington. The line is so long. We finna go by there. I ain't going in there because I'm not finna stand outside in 90 degree weather to spend my coin. But y'all, I wanted to show y'all because it's freaking lit. I mean, I might go, I might come out tomorrow since I know every, like literally everything is 50% off. So I might come back out tomorrow to be like the first one there, but I'm not finna stay in line, stand in line right now um, because it's too hot and I know they social distancing. So only a couple people can go in. Y'all look at this line. Do y'all see this line to get inside Burlington? Y'all, do y'all see this line to get into Burlington? Y'all. They got 50% off everything. It ain't that deep. It ain't that deep. <laughs> it ain't. Let me say it for the people in the back. It ain't that deep. But yeah, y'all, so we see Pier 1 still not open. Um, it looked like Party City is back open right here. Yep, he just walked in. They got curbside, but look, they door open. So Party City is back open. Our beloved Ross, y'all, I'm pulling up on Ross, our homegirl. She said, listen, she ain't opening. So there go Ross, temporarily closed, period. Got the metal doors up and everything. So Ross is not open. And I'm just showing y'all some stuff that's open in Atlanta. Um, yep, Old Navy is closed. They doing curbside pickup. Can't go in that thing. Um, Hobby Lobby, yeah, Hobby Lobby is open. It's been open. Oh yeah, y'all, I was gonna run a Dollar Tree. Hobby Lobby is open. Of course, Publix, which is coming up, is open. It's essential, we gotta eat. But yeah, y'all, did y'all see that freaking line? For Burlington, oh, Five Below is open. Y'all already knew that, though, because I've been going to Five Below. And then Publix. Just showing y'all a little bit of Elena. Like, y'all know I live on the south side, so this is just some of the stuff that's open on the south side. So, actually, like, in the city, I don't know if more things are open. Um, more eateries are open, obviously. Um. The dining rooms are back open. Let them go. Let them go. Now I go. Um, my dentist over here. My dentist is closed. But yeah, now you see Target obviously is open. Home Depot is open. Um, it's a lot of people out, y'all. It's a lot of people out. Everybody is happy to be out. Spending money. Um. So yeah, Marshalls is lit. Marshalls is back open. Marshalls is lit, lit. Famous Footwear is back open. See, sis is going in there. Oh yeah, they going in there, as y'all can see. They going in there, they ain't playing. Um, What else, what else can I show y'all before we go in Target? Famous Footwear is closed. K's Jewelry is closed. Oh no, they doing um curbside pickup. I see some well, they doing pickups because I see somebody in there. Honey, they said we still get married, regardless. Let me get this ring. So that's open. Oh snap. Some more stuff look like it's open over here. Oh snap. Oh yeah. So y'all have seen me shop here before. Not Shoppers World. I've never been in Shoppers World. But Shoppers World is open. But they got a um, Forever 21 red, which is. Child. Anyway, Forever 21 is red. And as you can see, there's a line. People trying to get in that thing. So that's back open. Y'all, I'm not the best driver. Y'all know that. So yeah, and Bed Bath & Beyond is temporarily closed. So yeah, Bed Bath & Beyond not open. And then we coming up on walmart y'all know walmart open um so yeah we about to uh loop back around and go on target 
Y'all know Walmart is lit. Walmart is lit, lit. Child. I wanted to go in Walmart, but not today. I, well, I wanted to come in this Walmart, but I'm not. But anyway, I just wanted to come and show y'all like a little bit of scenery um, and kind of show y'all what stores are open. But as y'all can see, as I'm driving, people is driving crazy. But as y'all can see, as I'm driving, the streets is lit. Like the streets are lit. Everybody feel like they want to hit me. When they start driving like that, I'll be like, let me go home. But anyway, all right, y'all. I'm going to either see y'all in Target or when I get out. All right, y'all. So I came in Target to get my skinny dipped almonds, the dark chocolate espresso ones. Y'all know I showed these to y'all in the haul. I love these. Um, they have 11 cards with three dietary fibers. Um, so eight brands of carbs per 15 almonds, which for a sweet treat is fine by me. But y'all, look who here. They got high key mini cookies here. So these are the high key snacks that I show y'all. They are keto friendly. As you can see, it says keto certified two net carbs per eight pieces. Y'all, they're $3.99 here. So if you've been try wanting to try the chocolate chip high key cookies, they have them in Target and they're like on the hour with the snacks. That's awesome. So shout out to high key. I spot y'all in Target. Um, these are so good. I said to me they're compared to Famous Amos cookies. So yeah, I just wanted to come and show y'all that they do have keto friendly um, chocolate chip cookies in Target. And like I said, they're just back here with all the other snacks. But okay, okay, high key. All right, gang. So I just smashed my salad and I forgot to show it to y'all, but it literally was just a Caesar salad that was freaking delicious. Clearly smashed it. Um, that was my lunch, but I wanted to come back and show you guys these as well. So when I was in Target, when I was checking out, I saw these Project 7 gummy bears and they're sitting at six net carbs per bag, three grams of sugar. Y'all, you get quite a bit of gummy bears in here. Like the gummy bears are full all the way to the eye so that was like cool by me um <clears throat> i went ahead and opened them and we're about to taste them y'all know we had to wait until we got home to wash our hands and stuff and then i wanted to eat lunch but they have no sugar alcohols no artificial sweetener three grams of sugar per bag um so i'm super excited to try these i like a gummy bear every now and then if you know me you know i don't really like candy like that like candy is cool but i don't like it you know like that so, this is what they look like. I just want to get out like a colored one. I'm going to put it back in there. But yeah, this is what they look like. So, they are actual gummy bears. And let's go ahead and taste one. I'm going to taste the purple one. Mmm. So, on the back, I had all the flavors. Mmm. Mmm. Y'all. I think I probably just ate Blackberry Kiss. Highly, highly recommend. So if you like gummy bears and need something sweet, like I'll probably fold these up and just put them in my purse. So that way when I'm out and about, I'll have like a sweet treat in my purse. Or if you're trying to cut your kids back on like carbs and stuff, then these are really good. They're super juicy and they're chewy. Um, they taste the closest to gummy bears that I've had so far. Um... 100 calories per pack so 100 calories six net carbs boo i'll take it but yeah so if y'all see these try these out they're really good the best gummy bears i've tried thus far y'all know i wouldn't lie all right y'all i'm home i think i'm about to relax watch me a movie well let me turn y'all around all right gang so it's a little bit later and i have not done like a house tour or like a room tour because it's not together y'all but basically i'm just like cleaning some stuff up moves moving some stuff around um that isolated fan that i bought today i put together and it's lit um i needed a fan because like i told y'all it gets hot in my room so i needed a more powerful and bigger fan um the fan that i currently have is just this itty bitty fan that i was just leaving by my bed so i think i'm gonna roll this up and put it in my closet but um yeah so i set that up and then i was coming back to just show you guys here are some of my books i think like in a previous video somebody was like oh show us your book storage or your bookshelf y'all i literally got books everywhere so here are a lot of my books um 
to my most recent, which is relationship goals that I am done with. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how I want to like rearrange my room. Um, I'm filming on my phone right now. As y'all can see, my Canon G7X is right there. The charger is right there. Yeah, this is where I put my book set. How do y'all store y'all books? I'm thinking about just going to like um, Ikea and maybe getting like a bookcase that I can like put on this wall right here um, in my room. I got to put a bookshelf right there. This is where they are now, though. Some of them. Um, some of them are in my car. Some of them are in drawers. Some of them are closet. Like, I literally have books everywhere. So, yeah, tell me where you guys store things. And, yeah. All right, gang. So, I don't foresee myself doing anything else today, y'all. I kind of like today was just like full of running errands and stuff. So, hopefully, y'all still like these type of vlogs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And if I do do something tonight or if I do cook dinner, um, I will start a new vlog. Look at this gray hair, y'all. Look at this gray hair. It's so long. But anyway, I don't foresee myself doing anything. So, yes, thank y'all for running errands with me. Thank y'all for rocking with your girl. If y'all made it all the way to the end of the video, go ahead and drop the little bear down below. Because them gummy bears was bussing. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Reporting live from the internet. Signing out back to you, world. Bye, guys.